Okay, we are back. Thank you for tuning back with us this morning. Uh, ready for God's word? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now we are starting a, a brand new series of sermons called Connection Church. Connection Church. Connecting you to, and we're going to fill in the blanks as we go along the way. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we, we made the, um, the transition into a new chapter, and we came up with um, a new vision, uh, a new name, but also a new mission. Yeah? We, wanna, we, we want to have a mission for the church. We want to know what, why do we exist as a church. So does anybody remember what's the, the mission? Why do we exist? No? Well, I hope you're going to know it after this one. You have the booklets. If not, uh, make sure that get, take a book again. And it's just there on, the, on the front page of every book. It's there. It says our mission is to connecting you to Jesus for a unique change. Connecting you to Jesus for a unique change. Now, do you know what's the number one disease today? Anybody knows? We might say corona. <laughs> you might say cancer. You might say diabetes. What else? A heart problem? There was a research made, and the number one disease today is isolation. We live in a world that has never been somehow more connected than before. I mean, we are very, very connected these days. Everything today is connected. We are connected through phones. We are connected through smartphones. We are connected through internet. We are connected through social media. We are connected through news. We are connected through everything. And in spite of this connection, the irony is that, that isolation is the number one issue today. So how is that possible? Why is isolation number one disease today? How did you get there? What's the solution for all this? Through this series of sermons, we're going to learn what does it mean to be connected. And today's sermon is going to be very simple. It's going to be just introduction uh, for us. Uh, and it's just the, the fundament that we want to set up. Because for us, it's very important that you know that we exist to connect you to Jesus for a unique change. And I, open your, I want to open your Bible in John chapter 15. And when you're there, say, I... John chapter 15. John chapter 15. Yeah, that's the fourth gospel in the New Testament. If you don't have a Bible and have an app, just click there. If you don't have to open, just click. Yeah. John chapter 15. I'm reading from New Living Translation, but feel free to read in your own um, Translations. You have in your, in any way the words on the screen. Um, so let's read it together. John chapter 15 verse 1 says like this. I am the true grapevine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit. And he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they'll produce even more. You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you. Remain in me and I'll remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severe, if it's severe from the vine, and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me, and I in them, will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can't do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. May God bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, there was a time when you went home from your work and your work was done. There was nothing there to be connected. You kind of disconnected yourself from the work, and you pretty much you were connected with, with your family life. 
Now, that's not true anymore these days. You know, customers and co-workers can now, you know, phone and email and, and text you any times uh, at, at, at any day of the, or during the day, any times during the day, and kind of, you are, you are expected to respond within hours, especially if you're on call, you know, and, 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 uh, and, um, and it's not possible anymore to be disconnected from your work life and to be connected to something else. Why? I think because they're afraid that if they do, if, they, if, if you disconnect yourself from this, you will probably m miss something important. So my question is, how did all this happen? I mean, it all started in, in, in Genesis. You know, man was created to be connected. You know, and God, the Bible says that God was connected with the mankind. But then we know that the sin came into the world and the sin kind of got, got us disconnected, right? And, and we are like that ever since. And then we, see, we know what the Bible says, that God came up with the solution and how to reconnect with us again. And, and, and for those who read the Bible, we know the answers. For those who doesn't know the Bible, who don't read the Bible, those who are watching online but you never read the Bible, the answer is Jesus. Through Jesus, says the Bible, that God reconnected with us. Right? And if we, believe, if we believe in the act of the cross, that the fact he died and he rose again, and accept him, that will reconnect you with him. But here's the thing. God did make the step. But we didn't. Because there's a difference between being acquainted with God and being connected with God. God doesn't want you to, to know about him. God wants to have a connection with you. And that's why, that's why Connection Church exists. To connect you to Jesus. To connect you to Jesus for a unique change. What does it mean? When, when we connect you to Jesus, something happened. A unique experience. And I want, I want to use to, uh, this morning two words that describe that. And, and these are my two points also. It, it calls clarity and growing. Now, if you look in our text, we talk about clarity in verse 4, and it says like this, Remain in me, and I'll remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it's severe, severed from the vine, and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine, and you are the branches. And those who remain in me, and I in them, will produce much fruit. For apart from me... You can, you can do nothing. We are, we are the branches and Jesus is the vine from which we, we draw all of our life and resources and all our ability to, to bear spiritual fruit to God's glory as we stay connected to Jesus. The, the greatest danger uh, 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 any believer or, or, or a church that can face is to become disconnected from Jesus. Either by, by falling away or by, 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 by changing uh, the true vine from being connected to a fake vine. Jesus says here, I am the true vine. That means there is also a fake vine. The, the word true means that it's genuine, it's real, it's, it's not counterfeit, it's not fake. This implies that there are so many fake vines that people can attach their life to. And we can connect ourselves to all sorts of vines, but those things, those, those vines won't bring any life to us. We kind of disconnect ourselves from Jesus and we connect ourselves to a different vine that kind of keeps us busy. But those things won't bring what we need. In our text says that being disconnected leads to death. Jesus told the disciples that apart from him, they could do what? Everything? Nothing. All those things that you are connected to in the end, says the Bible, will lead to death. And Jesus warns that, that when a branch gets disconnected, it withers and, and dies it's, it's, not good, it's, it's, it's no good for anything except for firewood. So, our greatest conviction needs to be staying that we are connected to Jesus. 
Apart from him, says the Bible, that will dry up, will run empty, and, and cease to be useful and productive of any level. And that is why it's important to know what do we do as a church is to help you being connected to Jesus because we want to bring clarity, being real, to be connected to the real vine. Growing. Look in verse 2. It says like this. He cuts off every branch of mine that does, doesn't produce fruit and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they will produce even more. Look at verse 8. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. When, when you are connected, says he, Jesus says that you are not stagnant, but you are growing. We use a lot of, in, in our Christian context, in our Christian language, this word growing. But what do we mean by, by growing? It means that we don't stay the same. Yeah? When, when branches are connected to the vine, before fruit, there is a flower. Right? Now, the flower never stays the same. It starts small and then grows and then makes beautiful and then beautiful and then at some point turns into a fruit. So before there is a fruit, there is a flower that is growing. It's never the same. And after that, it turns into a fruit. When we, when, we, when, we, when we connect with Jesus, when we get connected to Jesus, Jesus wants to, to replenish us spiritually and emotionally. And, 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 and often we feel drained and we feel weary and, and we feel lost and, and we feel uh, 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 without any, any source, any power. Because why? Because we, we are disconnected from the source. We are disconnected from the vine. And Jesus says, I want to restore your soul. When you connect to Jesus, your attitude, your actions is influenced, is growing, is changing. It won't stay the same. Producing fruit is the evidence of your connection to Jesus. If you don't produce any fruit, it's the evidence of you being disconnected to Jesus. Now, this might seem very harsh, and you say, well, I don't think so. I mean, you know, I, I received Christ, I accepted him, I'm saved, so one, somehow I'm connected to Jesus. Producing fruit is the evidence of your connection to Jesus. If you don't produce fruit, it means you are disconnected. Why? Salvation doesn't connect you to Jesus. Salvation, it brings life from death. It brings you back to a new life. That's what salvation does. But connection with Jesus, it keeps you alive. So you see the difference? Salvation doesn't connect you to Jesus. It just brings you to a new life. But being connected to Jesus, that's what keeps you alive. That, what, what, that brings sustainability. Paul says in Colossians chapter 2, verse 6, Just as you receive Christ Jesus, so also continue to live in Him. In other words, continue to be connected to Him. So you can stay alive. Producing fruit is not automatically in the life of a Christian. Bearing fruit describes the, the outward actions that result from the inward condition of a person's heart. And I want you to hear me very careful. When we are connected and intentional about our relationship with Jesus, says the Bible that we produce the fruit that God cultivates in us. Our focus many times as Christians is, is, is the, the kind of the fruit we produce. But our focus as a Christian shouldn't be the kind of fruit we produce, but should be the connection that we have with God. Because He's the one that cultivates fruit in us. The key both to our fruitfulness and to our destiny is the connection with Jesus. So we want to connect you to Jesus so you can experience a unique change. You can experience a unique growth. You can experience a unique life. You can experience a unique experience with God. And the word unique is like, like never before. An unusual way.
So here's the thing. You cannot benefit from all that divine offers if you are not connected to the vine. You cannot benefit from all the benefits that the church can offer if you are not connected to the church. Just staying apart and watch it while it happens to others, it won't happen to you. In order to see something happen, you need to, to, to be connected. Watching a football game is not the same as playing a football game, right? And sometimes that's what we became. We are watchers instead of players. We are watching others, how are connected, how are growing, and we think it might happen to us too by just watching. We like to, to stand from outside and watch instead of being connected. And then, and, then, and then we ask ourselves, you know, what is happening? Why am I like this? Why, why am I experiencing something like that and not experience these kind of things like others are doing? Why am I not, I'm not that spiritual? Why am I not, I'm not that, you know, that strong faith? Why am I not blessed like others? Because you are not connected to Jesus. You are just an outsider. You're just watching while others are connecting to Jesus. Because says here, Jesus, without me, you can't do nothing. In other words, if you want to do something, get connected with me. You are, I, I said here that uh, because you are not connected to Jesus, you are more like, a, you are taped to the vine. You are not connected, you are just taped around. We put a you know, tape around you and we connect you. Yeah, so you are there. But that doesn't work. Because one day you'll be disconnected. And sadly, especially for, for those who are watching online or who probably are going to watch it later, sadly, for some of you, already happening. It's already happening. We are seven, eight, nine months almost since this pandemic came. And you missed so much of not being connected to the life of the church. What's the number one disease? Isolation. You get disconnected instead of getting connected. We don't want you to, connect to, to be connected to a program or events. We call ourselves Connection Church for a reason. Because we want you to have a, a, real, a real connection to Jesus and to experience a change and a growth and blessings like never before. And we will do everything we can to help you get connected. That's our part. But what's your part? What is your part in this? We want to connect you to Jesus. We want you to be connected to Jesus for a unique change, for a unique growth, for a unique experience. We want to help you. What's your part that you play in this? What's your part, those who are watching? You are very disconnected. For seven, eight months, we haven't seen you. What's your part in this? This series is going to help us to learn how to get back connected. And the first step is we want you to come back in the game and be connected to Jesus. Be connected to the source. Be connected to the vine. Before you get connected to other things, that's the most important part. That's why our mission is, is very clear. We want you to be connected, not to events, not programs, not other things, but first to Jesus. Because once you're connected to Jesus, you're going to experience something like you never experienced before. And that's our desire for each one of us. Amen? Amen. Amen.